we're back. We are. Yes. Um. What do you have with roast turkey? Pigs in blankets. And. Brussels sprouts. You heathen. <laughs> and. Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Yeah, I was going to say roast potatoes, but. Um. <laughs> so. I don't know if you noticed um, kind of a bit of product placement there. Oh, my God. I just turned it into your call, man. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're not on the cam show now, dear. You know. So, yeah. A bit of this. That is Screaming Chimps Cranberry Sauce. Now. Beautiful colour. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it's your... You kind of, it looks like cranberry sauce, you know. I mean, if it walks like a duck, sounds like a duck. Probably not a turkey. Probably not. Um, so, our friend Neil, uh, the uh, proprietor and evil genius behind Screaming Chimp, made this and sent it through for us to try uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to read, but my eyes are old and crap. So cranberries a lot. Is it eighty percent? So, so I think so. Yeah, your, your eyes are worth better than mine. Uh, demerara sugar, a nice. little bit of sweetness, some oranges. Oh, oranges and cranberries. That is such a good combination as mm. well. Orange juice. Okay. Water. Chilies, yep. ginger, Ooh. and cinnamon. Now I'm getting, I'm getting Christmas in a jar. Yeah, here it's like the orange, the cranberry, the cinnamon, the warmth of the ginger, a little bit of heat from the chilies. I think this could. There's be... something a little bit special about the chilies in these. So, all right. Yeah, they they're not squished. They're not blended. Okay. They're whole. Whole chilies. Yeah. They're, 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 I forget which chili he used, but it's like a uh, Biquinho kind of small. Oh, so kind of like cranberry sized. Yeah. Ooh. It, it, it is maybe not that chili, maybe a uh, different one, but they're whole in there. So you've got the option, if you're a bit of a chili wimp, to take them out. That's a good idea. So you've got a little bit of infusion happening. Just a little, little bit of flavour there. But you can decide how hot this is. Now, it's not going to be crazy hot anyway, because the chilies he's used aren't crazy hot chilies. Mm -hmm. um, so it should be relatively mild. But if you've got kids or, you know, grandparents or just those that don't know the joy of chili, um, they can obviously avoid it, Sounds which is good. quite a clever move. So, oh, there's the pop. Oh, oh, that smells good. Now I'm, I'm surprised you can smell the chili. Just yeah, I mean there, there's chili in yeah. it, so you are going to pick up some. But you've got that lovely the spice. Yeah. Is there the, you can the smell ginger? The cinnamon. The, the cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah. Ginger. 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 It's like cinnamon and ginger, but it's kind of a combined thing. Well, I thought ginger. it was like a, a red, engine. A ginger. A gin gin. Um, oh, somebody's been at the Christmas brandy again. That smells really nice. It does smell really good, doesn't it? Really, really nice. So, I dig just, in. I love the colour. I think it, it's all. It's well, such a beautiful, beautiful colour. kind of ruby garnet kind of colour. Sort of slightly pinky, isn't it? So I'm sitting here looking, going, have I got cranberries? Have I got chilies? So have I got a bit of both? That's the colour. Have I got some on my hand? There yes, I have. Go. Picking up a lot more of the orange now. Yeah. On the spoon. Oh, it just it just smells fruity though, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh. Well. Chin chin. Merry Christmas. Indeed. You dripped on your head. I have dripped on my hand. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. That cinnamon comes through. Mm. Mm. I love the fact the cranberries are there and they're like just burst. Mm. But you've still got whole cranberries in there. That's some mm. seriously tasty stuff. Mm. But the orange comes through, but it's a real, a very gentle sweetness with it, but it's quite. I don't want to say sharp. It's tart enough. It's t yeah, it's tart enough that it will cut through like a, a rich roast dinner. Yeah. So when you've got all, mm. you know, the roast potatoes, roast turkey, roast parsnips. All the stuffing and... All that kind of stuff that's, I'm not going to say greasy, but it, it's been yeah. cooked in oil. Yeah. Um, having that, that little bit of heat and that little bit of tartness... Mm. But the full-on fruitiness mm. as well will just go so well with whether you have gammon, turkey. Yeah. You know, I'd even put like you know a three-bird roast in that because of the you know sort of like the dark fruit kind of flavour behind it would sit really well with like duck if you had like the three-bird yeah. roast or goose or something like that, depending on whatever your Christmas preference is. Your nut roast. That would be. Why do you look at me like that? <laughs> but that on a, a nut roast yeah no, that worked that worked on nut roast so well cranberry green cranberry parcels a little bit of that on cheese yeah you I can would have that on my cheese board definitely use Absolutely that on my, have cheese, it on my board. cheese board in fact I would just basically I would just have it on everything that I would possibly I'd, want I'd, Christmas. to be honest I'd just have it on a spoon yeah oh, really is that good really nice but it is, it is good. It's got, you know, it's a nice balance on the the heat. You know, there's a, a little zing from the chilli, but it's not something that... It's not going to kill anybody. No, you, no. you won't worry about giving it to sort of the younger members of your family. But mm. good effort. Well Loving done. That. Thank you very much, Neil. That is a cracking cranberry. Mm. Really Definitely is. one you want on your Christmas table. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's not jammy. No. It is, it's more like a traditional cranberry sauce. Yeah. Um, a little bit of sweetness there from the sugar, but it, it's not a jammy sweetness. No. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely one you want. Very, very nice. Indeed. Very impressed. So, heat wise. For me, a one. I'll say, I'll say that one. Um, you get a little bit of a tingle on the tongue yeah, still, when you have I've it. Still got but, a little bit going, but yeah, it's, you know, it's but a, it's it's a nice warming heat, and I think it's as well. It could be something coming from the ginger. It's not just the chili. So if I, you if you like, I would describe ginger, this as a vinegar tingle. Yeah, you know, it, it doesn't taste the vinegar, but you know, when you have a bit of vinegar and it just kind of tingles your tongue. Yeah. Just I'll, a warmth. I would I describe it as that kind of feeling. Um, obviously from the chilli, but it's, yeah. I, I couldn't give this higher than the one for heat, which is great, because it means the whole family can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Not just for mad chilli heads. Um, Why is he looking at me? Mm, <laughs> seriously good. Great well, stuff. Well done, Neil impressive um thank you ever so much for watching hang on a bit more uh I'll, I'll try and do it with product that. placement here all right yeah thank you ever so much for watching <laughs> i do hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget the old subscribe button and the like button mm. Pop i just want to read that now yeah yeah screamingchimp.com to keep on chimping and um yeah screaming chimp chili sauce <laughs>